LA-based EDM media giant Techno and Chill recently dropped into the Web3 space. Although they've got a great concept and intentions, it looks like they missed a couple beats and need to fine-tune their approach. Over the years, Techno and Chill has collaborated with hundreds of artists and events around the globe, cementing its position as a leader in the EDM space. Through creating a Web3 marketplace and leveraging NFTs, they hope to help artists gain more independence, avoid being exploited by record labels, and have the freedom to explore themselves in any which way they choose. Now, if you've been following our content, you'll know that we're super passionate about supporting emerging artists through the Web3 space. So it's great to see Techno and Chill coming through with these great ideas. The NFTs themselves offer security to artists via blockchain technology, as well as utilities such as access to events, NFT ticketing, and access to future collaborations. It all sounds great in theory, but let's take a look at how it was executed. Unfortunately, the recent Mint didn't go as anticipated, leaving both the team and the community feeling a little disappointed. Post Mint, the team did acknowledge that there should have been more time spent building a stronger online presence and also fostering Web3 connections in the space. Some advice that we would give if you're launching a project during a bear market is to go low and slow. Take your time to build out the audience and warm them up with what's happening and release a very low number of NFTs. Techno and Chill released 1,777 NFTs and although low compared to previous mints in the past, they only sold 121, despite having over 1.1 million Instagram followers. This just goes to show that big brands wanting to move into the space can't necessarily rely on their Web2 audience. It may have been a better move to start with, say, 50 NFTs. Although this doesn't seem like much, it could have been a great way for Techno and Chill to identify their 50 most loyal fans who are interested in Web3 to start creating a tight-knit community with them, along with potentially generating a little bit of FOMO. This should be used as a way to gauge interest and then test again a few months down the line. Even though it's a bear market, it's still the perfect time to test, play, and iterate with your Web3 experience. Explore different platforms and mediums and start to build out and manage your Web3 community so that you're ready to leverage the bull market when the time comes. Despite the setback, the Techno and Shield team remain committed to delivering on their project vision and improving their approach for future endeavors. We wish them the best of luck and are always happy to have a chat and help out with any projects looking to launch during these difficult times. Stay safe and have fun out there.